My name is Alfredo Fuentes. Um, I am here for the Outdoor Education Master's Program. Um, and we are here at Boundary Waters. We finally got to Ely, Minnesota. We got some last minute shopping supplies. Um, we actually had a really cool experience going to Outward Bound. Um, and got to experience how they pack food, how they work on their equipment, how they um, prepare their trips. And the biggest thing that helped us with this canoe trip was that we actually got to go to their kitchen, which was completely covered in bins of just dried food. I mean, powders, um, dried vegetables, dried fruits, um, soups, cakes, I mean, the whole nine yards. And we got to go through on one of their lists and decide what meals we wanted and with those meals kind of plan what we were going to have for this trip and it, it was amazing that pretty much everything that we have prepared for this trip is either going to be just add water in specific amounts or pretty much eat as is which I think is really really cool so I'm just really excited to get out and, and really really see what I guess what all the hype has been about and, and, and really experience and, and, and find God in this place I took Widgee 161 on my first trip at Widgee this past session. We were on trail for seven nights and this canoe was both a blessing and a curse to paddle and portage. It is a dream to stern and carry and it is beautifully built, but there was a lot of pressure to bring it back without any new scratches. Uh, camp Widgee Wagon is a YMCA camp um, in Ely, Minnesota. Um, and we come here because it's really close to the boundary waters and then one of our associate um, professors uh, Nelson Bennett um, has a long history with the camp here um, so they've been coming here for years now have a really good relationship with the camp the camp kind of opens up their doors to us to come in and learn um, and learn their way of doing things and their program so that we can take that information back and, uh, and use it in our own um, professions uh, the tour of Camp Widgee Wagon was uh, pretty interesting the canoe workshop probably was the thing that um, interested me the most uh, it was just really neat to see all of the uh, the tools and stuff that they have available there at the camp. It's neat to see the uh, the importance they've put on their canoe program and, and maintaining their fleet of wood canvas canoes, uh, and the fact that they have um, Joe Saliga's form and are using his tools and uh, making his boats is really neat. It's it's cool to see that they're maintaining that and uh, and upkeeping their fleet and putting that importance on it. And the uh, the trail building was pretty neat. It's good to see um, that a camp that's not incredibly funded can still do incredible programs um, so they've really used their resources and, uh, and built a really cool program. Today was the first day um, that we've spent in the Boundary Waters. We put in this morning. Uh, we left Widgee uh, probably about 9, 30, 10 o'clock and drove a ways to the put-in. And then we had a 160-rod uh, uh, portage uh, to the first section of water. That's about half a mile. Um, and uh, that was rough with the 86-pound the wood canvas canoe, but it was fun. Um, so we put in and we paddled a ways today. We've portaged probably seven times, I think, and uh, walked the canoe a lot through uh, ankle and calf deep water just because uh, we didn't want to bung up the really nice canoes. Um, the paddle was good, it was fun. Um, there's some winding streams and rivers and marshlands and then a couple, across a couple lakes. I, I love the wood canvas canoe. Um, it's really really heavy to carry. The, the portages are rough but the canoe paddles like nothing else. Um, paddles better than any other canoe I've ever been in and it's, it's just a dream. We use the wood canvas canoe uh, mostly for tradition but also um, to learn respect for our equipment. If you uh, so much as hit a rock the wrong way with that canoe, you'll put a hole in it and then you're kind of sunk. So it really teaches you to respect your equipment. That respect for your equipment transfers into other things, you know, respect for other people, respect for nature, uh, which is really uh, what Camp Widgee Wagon is about. They're, they really focus on respect. Um, so us using the wood canvas canoe just helps us learn and maintain respect for people and things. So uh, 
Uh, we've got three boats on this trip, three canoes. Uh, the one I'm in right now is the Bell Saliga, uh, affectionately known as the Pearl. Uh, it weighs about 50 pounds, and luckily this boat does not change weight uh, on the trip. Uh, we have another Old Town Atka, which is a wood canvas canoe. It's a 16-foot canoe, and it weighs about 75 pounds, but the wood canvas boats uh, take on about a pound of water a day, so after a six-day trip out here, it probably weighs about 81 pounds. And then our Saliga canoe is a 17-foot canoe, and it started out on the trip weighing 85 pounds, so it's probably pushing 91, 92 pounds right now. They're pretty heavy. The packs in general range from 25 to maybe 45, 50 pounds, uh, just depending on what pack it is, the food pack or group gear pack. So when we come to the end of a lake, we have to portage between lakes, uh, which involves uh, pulling all our gear out of the canoe, throwing the canoes up on our shoulder, and hiking, uh, sometimes over ridges, whatnot, uh, to the next lake where we hop back in and paddle some more. Portaging, portaging is tough. Portaging takes a lot of energy and a lot of concentration and a lot of balance, especially when you've got the huge canoe on your shoulders. You have to keep your feet stable and you rock the canoe up and onto your table of, on your legs and then while keeping your feet in the same position, you have to rock it up on your shoulders and once you've got your balance, then you can move your feet. Um, and you're going up and down, there's rocks everywhere. Um, it's, not, it's not a nice flat hike by any means. Um, it's tough, it's tough. You really, you really gotta be prepared and, and pretty you know, strong willed to, to do a portage. It's tough, you know, it really wears you out in your shoulders and, um, but it's also very soothing once uh, you get on the water and you realize that there's no motorists or anybody else really and it's just, it's just you and the water and everything else around you so it's peaceful. Out here on this intensive, we are working towards our Masters in Outdoor Education. Um, and these, this intensive focuses on uh, leadership, ecology, environmental ministries, and wilderness trekking. Um, the wilderness trekking kind of covers like the canoe, how we travel, um, the environmental ministries. We talk about, you know, how we can connect people to um, their creator through nature. Um, we talk about ecology, and that's a lot of fun, getting to kind of discover some new stuff that we don't have back home in Tennessee. Um, and then um, leadership, we, we each have to take a day um, of this trip, and we get the map, we have to call the shots, we have to, you know, organize the day. Um, and then at the end of the day, we discuss leadership in depth, and we also give each other um, positives and negatives. Um, you know, just just some feedback, so we can really see how we're we're um, growing in our leadership. One of my favorite memories from this trip was. Um, the fact that we were just drinking water straight out of the lakes uh, without purifying it, without filtering it, without anything. And I mean, it's not that that's recommended, but that that was the opportunity and something that a lot of people do. And I was doing it, and then at one point we were drinking water and uh, Mike drank a little freshwater jellyfish right out of the water and just swallowed the thing. And it's just cool that we were in such a clean place that you could drink the water and even drink a jellyfish and there was no, no harmful side effects and really not a lot of danger involved in that. that was one of my best memories. I feel like going to the Boundary Waters helps people to learn in a, in a new environment and to learn how to teach in diverse environments. And I think that that is invaluable in, in training professionals and in teachers. The Boundary Waters is probably the best place I've ever been where you can take a group of people and really that group will grow together. Um, personally, I, I really want to take other people back there, friends, family, because I think it's a great place to learn new things, to experience new things, but to build stronger relationships and grow corporately in a group. And I, I think that it's the best place I've ever been to do that.